My name is Rollin Gregg, and I'm one of the defendants in the Kettle Falls Five. You can look it up at kettlefalls5.com. Basically, I'm a medical marijuana patient, and we've been charged by the federal government with uh, basically breaking federal law, even though we were following state law. So I'm here at Hempfest uh, spreading the word that the war is not over until it's federally, um, the prohibition has ended. This miracle plant has, um, I broke my neck and my back when I was younger, and I've got irritable bowel syndrome, digestion issues, and so it's helped me a lot personally um, to actually live a more complete life. Um, I have pain in my neck and my back, which the doctors want to prescribe me really harsh opiates like Vicodin and Oxycontin, and that stuff makes me really feel out of whack. I can't think straight, I can't operate my business, um, and so uh, medical cannabis has allowed me to have a pain-free life, even though right now the federal government does not allow me to actually take my medicine while I'm going through a federal trial. And so, um, so this miracle plan has, has, has been awesome to me, and um, you know, I hope that in the near future everybody will be able to actually uh, access it in the near future. Well, what I'd like to say to the states that haven't legalized marijuana is that you need to look at the models here, the petri dishes of experimentation of Colorado and Washington, um, and what you're going to see is that youth use is not going to rise dramatically, if at all. Uh, car fatalities and DUIs are not going to demonstrably rise, but what's going to rise is tax revenue coming into the coffers that's been funneled or diverted to black market sources in the past. And uh, I think that if the citizens of those states believe, really believe in equality and democracy and justice and liberty, then they're going to follow suit, look at our model, look at what we did right, what could be improved, and, uh, and legalize it. And then we'll advertise it and monetize it. Uh, we need to stop cannibalizing each other as a movement and an industry and patience. And what we need to do is gather together and unify together in coalitions and work together. Pick something, get everybody to get their piece and sign on to it, whatever it is, legislation, initiatives, whatever kind of policy it is. Get the institutions, the leaders of the institutions, get your heads, your, uh, your leaders, get them together and hold them accountable for not working in coalition. Because that's been our problem. We've spent 50 years cannibalizing each other and in the, in the political process that means that you lose. If you work together and you unify, the definition of victory in politics is usually the word compromise. And that's how you, how you define victory. And that's what we've done is we've helped folks get together, build coalitions, workers, patients, communities. And we also have to realize that there are other stakeholders like public safety and health, education, uh, and, and every other community you can imagine. We've got to have representatives across the spectrum. Register and vote. Okay, and get out and help other people get registered and have them vote. That's how you win. You win through the process.
You win by standing and speaking in places like this when nobody else was around or willing to listen. But now suddenly, you know, you, you are the voice of reason and everybody goes, woo, you're cool, woo, woo. It takes time to get there. It doesn't happen overnight. Everybody should register to vote. You know, send emails, tweet, whatever you have to do to whatever politician in your area to get cannabis legalized recreationally, medically, you know, anybody, it should just, it should be a freedom. It is a plant. You can grow gardens. Why can you not grow something that can be healing and helpful to you? Anybody and everybody, it's such an amazing thing. It should just be free. It's a plant. I think is beyond the point of just legalizing marijuana or even cannabis at all. But cannabis is just like the tip of the iceberg to me. It's like, let's battle that, get that out of the way, and then go after some more of our rights that they took away. You know? So that's what it's about for me and my relationship with cannabis is just like I've always been outspoken about it to my friends and I don't advocate it to anyone I, I advocate that anyone who wants to smoke it should be able to freely I feel that that is a choice for the people and people we, we need freedom and choices and education and I support it 100% and I, um, I think it's the safest Thing out there for adults. Uh, if you are in um, if you are in a state that does not have or is about to have medical cannabis on the books, my advice: move. But just because your state passes a law that says you're legal doesn't mean the battle's over. Um, every state that has some form of legalization, we have a chapter in. We have a chapter in these states because people are still getting arrested. When somebody sets a law, what they do is they set a box, a boundary, that says if you're doing this, you're okay, and if you're doing that, you're not. Unfortunately, law enforcement doesn't like these laws. So many times, they'll come in and they'll charge you with crimes and say you were acting out here, not in here. And you still get raided, you still get your property seized, you still have to bail out, you still have to fight your case. And so, we're about ending prohibition not just legalizing. Legalizing is part of the problem, but it's not the end of it. So I think that we have to federally change this before any of these states' laws really mean anything. More Americans across the country recognize that having marijuana on Schedule One of the Controlled Substances Act is just wrong. There are many redeeming uses for it, and most people recognize that just like alcohol prohibition was a failure, so is marijuana prohibition. Stay in there, keep up the fight, but don't wait for the federal government. Go for it and do in your own states what you know to be right, what we've done in Colorado and Washington. We need to get the other 48 on board, and I think that until we do get a majority, the Congress is not going to act. We've got to do it. Um, it. It is not an easy battle to legalize cannabis for medicine or for adult use. So you, you have to be very, very persistent. You also have to be, you have to be dedicated with a good group of people. This is not one individual making this happen. This is a movement of so many people. And so you have to be working with many, many individuals. It's a movement. It's like a human rights movement, like the gay marriage issue was. It's, it's, a, it's a human rights movement. And, and marijuana is a healing plant. And it should be seen as a healing plant and, and used for everything good that can come out of it. So yeah, just keep fighting. That's all you can do. Just keep fighting, keep voting, make your opinions known. If you're in a circle of people that are like professional and conservative, be brave and say, hey, um, let me let you, let me let me tell you what marijuana has done for me. So, you know, and it can help you too. Why not? Give it a shot. Put down the liquor, put down the barbiturates and the opiates, and try marijuana. The adult recreational use of marijuana is a civil liberty, it's a celebration. And the, the war on drugs is a prohibition based on lies and fear, it's racist, it's counterproductive. And uh, that's why I'm involved, is because I think it's, uh, it's time to take the crime out of the equation. I'm not for marijuana, More marijuana is a drug, it can be addictive, it, it can be uh, harmful, uh, but 
and uh, a lot of things are that way. And uh, we live in a country that celebrates freedom. And as an adult, I believe that that's a civil liberty. People should be able to enjoy marijuana if they want to. And I'm happy to stand on the stage and say what I believe. Well, legalization is very important. Um, it also it also creates prisoners. And as we have more prisoners going to jail, more laws, you know, we do have to think: Is this a bad law or a good law? Are we going to incarcerate people? And we, I want to I want to say to the people writing the bills and stuff to maybe consider a bill that decriminalizes it, that says that we can't go to prison for it no more, and we don't have to go to um, prison for it, we don't have to face, lose our kids for it. We have children who are being ripped away from their families because it's, it's illegal still. Even if we call it legal, we could still get a DUI and go to jail over it, um, regardless of how much, if we actually smoked or not. So, you know, as far as um, legalization, we, we need to come together and, and vote for the right laws and get the right bills passed so that we don't have, um, we create any more prisoners. But I think total legalization, and I, when I say legalization, I mean legalize the whole plant. I'm not down with this whole splitting it up between legalized THC and legalized uh, CBD. It's, it's all one plant, all one law, one legalization. People who support medical marijuana and recreational use don't give up. Please don't give up. It's not a big deal. Alcohol's been legal for hundreds of years and people have been using it and there's been just as much trouble as there has been good. And the same is true of any other substance that you try to ban it, people are going to use it. I really appreciate the different attempts that have been made in different states to actually legalize that on a medical and a recreational level. We need to not compromise as much as we have and we need to allow people to cultivate their own plants just like you can grow broccoli or you can grow hops or you can grow tobacco on your own property. You should be able to grow your own hemp. And so, you know, really I think that we're at a turning point now where the big pharmaceutical companies who've been patenting it, the United States who've already patented it for medical uses, um, I think they're really, the conspiracy is up, the truth is out. Uh, you can't hide the truth any longer. People are, are, aren't as dumb as they used to be or easily gullible to all the propaganda that we got back in the 30s and 40s. I think uh, we've realized the prohibition doesn't work. Um, the people who are still thinking that it's dangerous and are still thinking that, that youth uh, are, 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 may get access to it, or right now, they have access to it anyways. So really, um, the legalization movement, the train is left the building, and now it's a matter of us sticking to our guns and making sure that we can actually finish the job and end the, uh, the federal prohibition. Uh, the rest of the country, when they're writing initiatives to legalize marijuana, they need to make shorter initiatives with less regulations, free the marketplace, because what they did here in Washington is just ridiculous. It's cumbersome. They're not issuing enough licenses. Their supply is lacking. They just need to free it up, let people be innovative and creative. My view of uh, legalization because of Washington State and Colorado is not a question of whether but when. Legalization is happening and uh, Washington State has played uh, the role of tip of the spear. Thank you. There's a bell curve. It's a bell curve looks like this. It's, it's you know, math and stuff like that, but it looks like a bell. That's a bell curve. Okay, over here is 2% on this end of the curve, and there's another 18%, so that's the first 20%, right? In the middle, there's a 60%. Over here, there's another 18% and then 2%. Now, what that stands for is that first 2% was those movers and shakers who said, yay him, we're going to stand up and we're going to fight. Me, Vivian, you know, lots of others like us, right? That's that first 2%. Okay, that next 18% is those people who say, yeah, they're right, we're going to follow them. That's smart, we got to do that. The next 60% of that bell curve in a public relations statistical analysis background that we're talking about here, uh, that's the public. And when you know you have won an election, you are well into that 60%. You get it? So that means that you not only have two and 18, but you got 60, you got 80% of the public. So once you hit that middle ground, you've already won. That last 18% may change, but it's going to take almost to their deathbed or grandma getting cancer to convince them, okay? And that last 2%, they're the ones with the guns. And, and they're the ones who are in charge in Washington, D.C. or wherever. You know, they're the ones who will never change their mind because they have a vested interest and they will lose something if the other people win. Okay? Now, understand, when California passed the initiative back in the 90s, we were into the 60%. And ever since then, we 
have been winning and we will continue to win because we won the general public. Okay? So, my encouraging advice to anybody out there is to keep up the fight. We've already won. They just don't know they're dead yet. Cannabis is the least toxic of any medicine that we know of. The science proves this. No one to date has ever died from an overdose of medical cannabis or recreational cannabis for that matter. And here in Washington state, we have just from opiate based drugs, more than twice as many people die from the, those types of drugs than die from car accidents. So if you're trying to legalize it, the argument of safety and efficacy for pain is irrefutable. And I would also say that legislators need to be educated that Cannabis for pain does not have to be psychoactive, and that the lowest degree of psychoactivity, that the lowest degree of psychoactivity uh, for pain comes from a topical where there is only in very rare cases uh, a euphoric effect. So I think that's one of the best arguments that legislators need to know that it's not always about getting high. I see uh, Washington State along with Colorado and a couple other states with really good medical systems in place as the backbones of who's going to be driving this movement, who's going to be pushing it. And fortunately we have a lot of people with open minds in Washington State who are able to look at this plant as a medicine and respect the value of it and listen to the people to be able to provide this to them because it's the right thing to do. Uh, to the people in the medical states that have yet to get a medical marijuana law and even to those people in the states that have a medical marijuana law but have yet to get medical marijuana like in New Jersey. Hi. Never give up. It's coming. To the people who are in states where they don't have medicinal, try to get medicinal. There's lots of public support for medicinal um, regardless of where you live in the United States. As far as decriminalization, decriminalization is another policy that has widespread support. What would I say to people in states that are still fighting for the legalization of medical marijuana? Keep fighting. I've been a, um, a cannabis activist for many years. Uh, my company, NativeCleanEnergy.com, we develop clean energy technologies and our mission statement is empowering communities with affordable and sustainable energy, food, water, healing and shelter. So under healing, um, cancer is something that I really care about. Um, I believe that the prohibition of cannabis has been one of the biggest genocides in the history of our humanity because cannabis does cure cancer. And you can take a look at patent number 20,130,059,018, which is about cannabis curing cancer. And you can take a look at patent number 6,630,507, which is also about owned by the United States, about how curative um, cannabis is and cancer is in there. And so, um, what I want to do is help people have access to something that actually helps them with their health. My plans for the future is um, I'm hopefully going to be acquitted with my family at the Kettle Falls Five in our federal case. If we are acquitted, then we can set precedent for the rest of the nation that we're not going to convict our neighbors anymore of frivolous, um, unjust laws like the prohibition of cannabis.